Well, a major street in Brooklyn is raising safety concerns. All right, Atlantic Avenue has recorded 40 traffic deaths over the last decade, and as Fox 5's Richard Giacova shows us, that's earned the street an unfortunate new nickname. Move over Queens Boulevard. You're no longer living up to the infamous nickname Boulevard of Death. But there is one major thoroughfare that stretches 10 miles through both Queens and Brooklyn that some believe is so dangerous it might even be worse. Nobody stops, nobody cares. There's never no cops around here. So it's basically like a free for all and then just like, you know, keep your eyes open and don't get hit, you know. At least 40 deaths have reportedly occurred along busy Atlantic Avenue over the past decade. That's four times as many deaths as Queens Boulevard. But thanks to former New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio's Vision Zero initiative, Queens Boulevard has dramatically reduced traffic fatalities along the corridor. At the intersection of Atlantic Street and Logan Street, Street in the Cypress Hills section of Brooklyn, our cameras caught a number of close calls, some between drivers who didn't seem to know when to stop. In one instance, a group of pedestrians are trying to cross the street, and they almost get struck by a car making a left turn. Atlantic fits the classic profile of, uh, of a kind of a pedestrian killing zone in New York. Director of Advocacy for Bike New York, John Orcutt, says Atlantic Avenue needs the same attention as Queens Boulevard before some more serious accidents occur. Orcutt also worked for the DOT under former Mayor Mike Bloomberg. I think you could always do more with signal timing um, and balancing you know, more time for pedestrians. Uh, with the need to keep traffic moving. Pedestrians agree that something needs to be done as many feel unsafe crossing this busy thoroughfare. It was this year actually. I was crossing on that side. So that's why I changed to this side because I noticed that less cars turn this way than that way. Really? So I just take my time. It's just more about the drivers being more cautious and caring about pedestrians. In a statement, the DOT says it's completed a number of street redesign projects along Atlantic Avenue and continues to explore further upgrades. And that, the DOT says, has resulted in fewer pedestrian deaths. In fact, the second lowest level of pedestrian deaths in 113 years of recorded data. We're in the Cypress Hill section of Brooklyn. Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.